Hi, this is Joe Sullivan, sports editor of the Boston Globe, sitting in for Kevin Paul DuPont, and this is Globe 10.0. With me is senior assistant sports editor Scott Thurston. And Scott, the uh, ballots for the Baseball Hall of Fame came out yesterday, and all the talk was about Barry Bonds and Roger Clemens and whether people should vote for them. But there's another, there's lots of other names on the list. Lots of names. But one really significant one to Red Sox fans, and that's Curt Schilling. He of the Bloody Sox, who helped pitch the Red Sox to a World Series. Now, you know, is he, it's his first time on the ballot. Is he a first time Hall of Famer? Let's let's just talk about his stats briefly here. So, lifetime, his record, 216 and 146, 20 years he pitched. Right. And he, but... The real money with Schilling is the postseason, where right. he was 11 and two with a 2.23 ERA. So, are these Hall of Fame numbers? Well, that's the whole argument: is the postseason numbers. If you go by his career wins, 216. You know, I I never thought of Kurt Schilling as a Hall of Famer. Right. I, and I probably still don't. I think he's very borderline. Certainly not a first ballot guy. Um, but you can make the case with these numbers, the postseason numbers alone. And he was five and zero in these win or go home games. He's got three world titles. And I guess to a larger point, can you talk about baseball and the history of baseball and, and the legacy here without mentioning Kurt Schilling? Oh, you cannot. Not the bloody sock will live forever. The bloody sock. Does that yeah. get him in? I don't know. There's no question. He's. Uh, it, 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 can I go back to the 1950s? He's a gamer, Scotty. All right. And he's clutch. He pitches no big games. You know what I think uh, hurts him the most? And I agree with you. He's not a first ballot Hall of Famer. He not, may not be a Hall of Famer at all. But if you look at the first nine years of his career, he's a right. 500 pitcher, 52 and right. 52. And I really think that, that that's why he doesn't have enough victories. He didn't win enough games early in his career. And if he, if you, if he had won more games early in his career, he'd have enough victories. Although I hate to be so old-fashioned as to think that uh, games won is important. Yeah, you check out his war and his... Uh... <laughs> well, I'm sure it's terrific, especially in the postseason. <laughs> uh, no Cy Youngs. And yeah. you should probably be the best pitcher on your team. Often he wasn't. Yeah. Second to Randy Johnson, second to Pedro. That's true. Yeah. So, so what we have here, I think, is Kurt Schilling... Great career, great postseason, Red Sox legend, not a whole thing.